TJ, you guys have talked a lot about wanting to cut down on the turnovers. Obviously, that first half probably was a little more in that regard. Can you just talk about what what was kind of the mindset at the start of the game and kind of what happened with like really slow to start for you guys? Yeah, yeah well, we have been really trying to limit our turnovers, and I mean, most of them, I it was on me, so I got to clean it up a lot being a senior. Got to be stronger with the ball, make better plays. So, um, yeah, most of them on me. So, I, I got to take a lot of blame for that. In the second half, you guys were missing Arsenal a little bit. Did you guys notice a difference without him on the course? Seems like Nevada made a little bit of a comeback there. But yeah, I noticed. I got to get some rebounds for a change. Did you guys get an update on what's his condition? No. He's fine though. He was in the locker room, so I think he, he's going to be okay. Talk about the defensive effort you held in the 14 first half points. It's pretty substantial. I'm getting eight minutes to early in the score. Yeah, it's pretty impressive with you know, two really you know, efficient scores in Burton and the story. So um, I, I thought we played one of our better defensive games. Um, Point wise, but we still got a lot of improvement to do, um, especially on the offensive side. But uh, you know, uh, we're, we're coming together slowly, and uh, um, we're going to need to keep, pick it up once uh, Pat 12 starts. So, anyway, what turned it around for you guys in the first half? It seemed like you had a nice run at the end of the half, running the halftime, and you kind of kept that going and started the second as well. Um, in the first half, the defense was big for us. Uh, we came out and uh, Contain those guys. We knew that they had just came off some big games, so our our, uh, our game plan was to contain them as much as we could, and uh, we were successful with that. You guys came out on an 11-2 run to open the second half. I mean, what uh, was this just adjustments, or did Coach kind of light a fire on you guys? What was it the the difference between the second and the first half there? I think we just made plays for each other. Uh, there wasn't really anything we changed. Um, just making plays for each other. We knew we could do it. Um, we, we knew that the drive kick was there. Um, I thought we just we just made plays for each other, and that was the biggest difference. What's your guys' mindset going into Pac-12? You feel like you're you're ready for that now, and then how much of a difference is it going into Pac-12 as opposed to playing non-conference? And maybe did you change your mindset at all for that or not? Um, yeah, I said again. So just your mindset going into Pac-12, do you feel you're, like you're ready for conference play, and then how much of a change is it for you to mentally prepare for a Pac-12 team as opposed to a non-conference team? Um, I feel like we've been preparing well for conference play, um, and it's definitely a different mentality that uh, a lot of our younger guys will see once league play starts. Um, but it's definitely a different mentality, and uh, I, I do feel we're pretty well prepared. Talking about different mentality, how about starting it off at the Civil War? Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, a lot of people in the community, that's one that everybody can kind of get up for. It's a robbery for us, so that'll be big for us next week. Did you guys notice a difference in the fans once football season's over? Uh, I think we get a little bit more <laughs> once the season's over for us. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> definitely a better atmosphere. Than and it's Pac-12, too, so. Yeah, it's, nobody it's wants different. to see Idaho State. <laughs> <laughs> EJ, how about for you going back to Corvallis, uh, playing there for your last time? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, I'm, I'm going to be, you know, probably emotional about it, but um, you know, it's, it's going to be a big game. Uh, they're really good at home, and we, we're going to need to bring our best game to win them. So, any more questions?